what is your response to people who say this is getting ridiculous? Like I get that, you know, there's some differences, but Jiminy Christmas, this is getting like, this is way too hard. This is way too, you know, the squeaky wheel and, and it's such a small minority. And why do we have to go to all this trouble? And why is this like, this is ridiculous. So I'm, that's on me. Yeah. But I've heard it. It's tons. It's tons that I face every day as an openly a black gay man of faith. Um, people don't understand how I can be a Christian and a minister and, and openly uh, celebrate who I am and how I show up in the world. And the first thing I say is welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> welcome. We've been waiting for you. Um, and then I find out a little bit about who they are and I remind them that they were once not, if you were not white male with a specific European track, uh, you weren't well regarded in the world always. And I remind people of that. There was once a time where black and white people couldn't be married. It was illegal. There was once a time where women couldn't vote. There was once a time where women couldn't have their own bank accounts. I believe until the 1960s and 70s, women could not have a bank account. And when they're reminded of all of these things um, that, uh, you know, where people were discriminated against at one time or another, it helps them understand that we are still growing, one, as a country, but we're still growing as a humanity. And we're creating spaces where people are allowed to show up as they choose to. And none of this is new. I thought that being gay was new because I knew nothing about it. It was discriminated against in church. All you hear is freaks and perverts and pedophiles. That's the message. I didn't realize, you know, uh, homosexuals have been around since the beginning of time. I didn't realize that till I studied history and have always been shunned. So none of this is new. Mm -hmm. We're just creating space. People complain, oh, there's too much gayness on TV. It's going to turn my kids gay. I've watched TV my whole life and I've seen a lot of straight stuff and it hasn't turned me straight. So that theory <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> very it's good point because I'm still very gay and I watch a lot of straight TV but the arts is now generally what leads in the arts policy will soon follow and the arts are now creating spaces where people are able to be authentic you're able to see gay love lesbian love bisexual love because these are all ways that humans love and interact that have been silenced shunned discriminated against and policy. There's so many places across the world where being gay will get you killed legally in the Middle East, in Africa, in so many places. But then there are places like Fiji where they don't even have labels. They don't even have terms. They don't have pronouns. They don't have any of that. I was in Fiji. I said, where's the gay club? They're like, what is that? I went to the club. Everybody's having a good time. Men dancing with men, women with women, men with women, back to, I mean, we're having a marvelous time. Thailand, they love transsexuals. They love transgenders, rather. They love a queerness. They love black skin. I mean, all the things. So there are places in the world where we aren't living in these binaries and these cages and cells and boxes. Um, and I always say, just welcome to the 21st century. We've been That's waiting. Great. I love it.